everyone, welcome to another episode of Project Control Mastery. I am Sharek Urbani, the founder and director of Project Control Academy, where we help you master your knowledge and skills in project controls. In this episode, I'm going to show you different certifications that you can take in project risk management. There are two big international certifications that I like to recommend you if you are someone already in uh, managing risks in a project or you are a project controller involved in cost or schedule risk analysis and you want to further advance your knowledge and skills in risk management or you are already a risk practitioner and you are looking for ways to certify in risk management then I want you to know about these two certifications that you can consider to further advance your skills and knowledge in risk management. The first one is the one that is offered by Project Management Institute by PMI. It is called Risk Management Professional, PMI RMP. And to qualify for this certification, what you need to have is four years degree, a bachelor's degree, a college degree, four years of formal education, and 3,000 hours of risk management experience, which will be around two and a half years of experience in risk management, plus 30 hours of education in risk management. Uh, almost with uh, all of the PMI um, certifications, you need to also satisfy some hours of uh, education, um, normally 20 to 40 hours of education in different uh, certifications that they have available, just as a way to show that you are ready to take your hard exam. So if you are qualified, if you have the required education, required experience, and you already have gone through some risk management training, and you are ready to take the exam and fill out the application, then after you fill out the application and you are qualified, then you can sit on the exam, which is around 170 multiple choice questions, and it takes three and a half hours to complete. Once you pass your exam and you are certified risk professional, then uh, every three years you need to recertify uh, because after three years your certification will expire unless you show PMI that you've been on a continuous learning and growth and you've accumulated some professional development units or PDUs. And they need 30 PDUs every three years in order to recertify. So this is all you need to have and do uh, to get your uh, risk management certification with PMI. Another certification that is available is the one offered by AACE, Association of Advancement in Cost Engineering, and this one is called Decision and Risk Management Professional or DRMP. Now let's see what you need to have in order to be qualified for taking the related exam and to be qualified for this certification. First, uh, you need to have the education piece, um, four-year degree and eight years of experience uh, related to uh, risk management and out of those four years uh, need to be directly related to managing risks in a project. So as you can see by just that first criteria is a bit harder to pursue. Obviously it's for more senior practitioners in risk management uh, who wants to be certified. So this is harder to obtain I guess. The next criteria is you need to also have three letters of recommendation from your current or past clients or employer that shows your experience in risk management, that shows that you have been already doing the work as a risk practitioner and show the complexity of the project you've been working on, type of the risk management that you have implemented on the project and your role in implementing the risk in the project. So they need three letters of recommendation. If you are not willing to provide three letters of recommendation or if it's hard for you to find those contacts, um, to find a contact to provide you the letters of recommendation, then you need to show AAC and prove them your experience by giving them some examples of uh, the risk analysis and risk management that you have done on project. You have to submit three uh, examples uh, of uh, the projects that you have executed the risk management on, show them the decision analysis that you have done, the schedule and cost risk analysis that you have done, implementation of risk management program, risk workshops, that you have done so 
obviously you need to prove AAC. They don't believe you. You need to have proof of uh, the experience in risk management that you have done in different projects so that you are qualified for taking the exam. So if you have those qualifications and if uh, you fill out the application and uh, you pass the application process, then you can sit on an exam which uh, consists of around 120 multiple choice questions, one memorizing and it takes five hours to complete. Once you pass the exam, every three years you need to uh, get 12 CEUs, Continuing Education Units, to recertify. Otherwise your certification would expire and you have to go through the whole process again. So in summary, these are these two main uh, international certifications that I highly encourage you to consider uh, in risk management if you are someone in that area. They are uh, the PMI Project uh, Risk Management Professional, PMI RMP, and AAC Decision and Risk Management uh, Professional, DRMP. If you're interested to learn more on how uh, to become a risk practitioner, especially cost and schedule risk analyst in a project, make sure that you check Project Control Success Roadmap Training. Uh, check out projectcontrolacademy.com and check out the courses to learn more about this training that we have available for you. And with that, if you have any question or comment, make sure that you post them down below. And if you like this episode, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with a group of your friends or colleagues. Until the next episode uh, of Project uh, Control Mastery, do your best in everything that you do, my friend, and make a difference. <laughs>